Hi, um, in this video, I want to introduce uh, a, con a basic a terminology called min terms. Now, if you remember, we had uh, said that when we want to write a truth table for a particular application, what we want is we take the inputs and we write all the combinations of the inputs, right? So, for example, I've done that here. So, a, if A and B are the inputs, I have written all the combinations of A and B uh, here and what we want to what we want to do is uh, we want to use uh, we want to uh, look at the output at each of these combinations of the inputs and if we get that we define the uh, entire function of our logic circuit now if you want to convert this into boolean expressions there are various ways of doing it and one of the ways is to define what is called min terms now min terms are uh, terms which use A and B, the inputs, or the complemented versions of the inputs. Complement also means the inverted version. So A bar is the complement of A, right? So you use A and B and the complements of A and B, which is A bar and B bar, uh, to form, uh, uh, to form, and you add them uh, so that they give you uh, min terms. So let me just show you what I mean. So the min term corresponding to the combination a equal to 0 and b equal to 0 is going to be uh, a bar times b bar. Okay, that's because a is 0 here, right? a is 0, so you put the complement of a here. And if b is 0, you put the complement of b here. Similarly, the min term corresponding to this input, so a0 and b1 is going to be since a is 0, we put a bar, and since b is 1, we have the, the term that will come is b, and we add both those terms. Okay, so you write a bar b is the min term for this combination of the inputs. For the next combination of the inputs, the min term is going to be a b bar. And similarly, for 1, 1, a equal to 1 and b equal to 1, the min term is going to be a b. Okay? Now, you may say, well, what's the point of this min terms? Well, uh, we'll just get to that uh, uh, in, in a moment. So uh, uh, to do that, let's draw a, a basic truth table for a Boolean uh, circuit, for a logic circuit with two inputs, okay? So let me draw that here. So let's write the inputs here. Let me write the inputs in black. So you have A, B, and let's say the output is F, okay? And I write the various combinations of the inputs. In our case, we have four, four uh, possible combinations. And the output corresponding to this is 1, 0, 1, 1. Right? So that's my truth table for uh, my uh, Boolean circuit. Now, what I can do is, uh, what I want to do is, I want to write the Boolean expression corresponding to this truth table. So here's what I do. I take the min terms corresponding to each of the ones in the output, okay? So what are the ones? So this is this and this. We have three ones in the output. And I take the min terms corresponding to that. So what are the min terms going to be? So here it's going to be A bar, B bar, Right? And here it's going to be A, B bar, and here it's going to be A, B. And what I do is I OR all of them. So A bar, B bar, plus A, B bar, plus A, B. Sorry, A, B. And this is going to be equal to F. And so what we have done is we've gotten gone from the truth table to the Boolean expression, right? So let's kind of summarize this. So we have a truth table here, and we know that for each combination of the inputs, we can write a min term, okay? The min term is the ANDed product of the inputs or the complements of the inputs, okay? And how do we get the min terms? If A is zero, we write A bar in the uh, min term. If if an input is 0, we write the complement of that in the min term. If 
the input is one, then we write the input itself, okay? And we add those terms. So in every min term, you will have, uh, for example, two inputs here because this is a two input circuit. If you add a three input circuit, there will be three terms in every min term. And then what you do is you take the min terms corresponding to where the output is one and you OR all of them and you get the output and you get the Boolean expression of the output. Hopefully this makes sense. And what I would leave you to do is verify whether this Boolean expression actually represents this truth table.